Take a brief trip to experience pain and temperature sensation. Our ability to understand the world around us through the sensation of pain has been critical to our survival as a species, yet it has remained one of the great mysteries of human physiology. For centuries, the origin of pain has been pondered by philosophers ranging from the ancient Greeks to the 17th century philosopher René Descartes, who proposed that the brain interprets signals sent from threads in the skin. Today, we are still captivated by how the nervous system works, but have begun to look for answers on the microscopic scale, investigating how molecules interact with receptors to elicit cellular responses. In this video, we will examine three central studies that highlight transient receptor potential channels, or TRP channels, and how they provide insight on the molecular mechanisms underlying temperature and pain sensation. TRIP channels make up a large and diverse superfamily of cation channels that have been implicated in sensory transduction processes since their initial discovery in phototransduction in fruit flies. Since then, fruit flies have played a key role as a model organism for studying the various subfamilies of TRIP channels, including their function in pain perception. For instance, in a 2003 study, a gene required for thermal and mechanical nociception or pain detection was discovered in Drosophila by generation of mutants and subsequent genetic screening. The mRNA of this gene, called painless, was found to encode for a protein of the trip ion channel family and was expressed in the peripheral neurons analogous to pain receptors in vertebrates. In recent years, it has become apparent that trip channels participate in similar sensory processes in both flies and mammals. Although much of the formative research on trip channels has come from the model organism Drosophila melanogaster, this video will focus on the Nobel Prize winning research published by David Julius and his colleagues on the role of trip channels in pain perception in mammals. For Julius's team, natural compounds were used to understand the mechanisms of pain detection and sensation namely capsaicin, the compound responsible for heat sensation after consuming chili peppers. In their study published in 1997, the researchers cloned a gene encoding a capsaicin receptor, then noted that the receptor is an integral membrane protein with embedded calcium ion channels and is expressed mainly in sensory ganglia. They noted that capsaicin triggers an influx of calcium ions. So in order to test for an effective capsaicin receptor clone, they transfected the HEK293 cell line with DNA encoding for the capsaicin receptor and examined calcium levels in response to capsaicin using a calcium sensitive dye. In alignment with their prediction, the researchers found that the receptor was also stimulated by noxious heat as a exposure of the transfected HEK293 cells to heat produced an increase in cytoplasmic free calcium. From these experiments, the researchers named the capsaicin receptor VR1, also known as vanilloid receptor subtype 1. Further studies revealed that TRPV1 not only responds to heat and capsation, but a variety of inflammatory agents, including extracellular protons and bioactive lipids, such as phosphoinositol. The finding that TRPV1 can be modulated by various cellular signals associated with inflammation makes the receptor an important target for understanding the pain sensory pathway and developing new drugs that can mitigate chronic pain without completely inactivating the receptor. There is still a long way to go, however. More studies need to be done in order to fully understand the effects that these inflammatory agents hold. TRIPV1 is not the only receptor implicated in temperature and pain sensation, as David Julius discovered a related protein, TRIPM8, involved in cold sensitivity. To do this, Julius used another natural compound as a probe, this time menthol derived from peppermint plants. One of the experiments that was performed to determine the role of TRIPM8 involved genetically mutating the TRIPM8 gene in mice and putting them in a chamber divided into a warm side and a cold side. It was observed that wild-type mice spent more time on the comfortably warm side of the chamber, while trip M8 deficient mice showed no preference for either side, demonstrating a diminished ability to discriminate between the two temperatures. It was also discovered that the trip M8 receptor possessed a structural feature conserved among other receptors in the trip family, including trip V1, indicating their evolutionary relationship. In the future, TRIP receptors will likely continue to play an important role in understanding how noise receptors detect thermal, chemical, and mechanical stimuli, as well as how new drugs can be developed against pain. Pain serves as a body's warning system and is indispensable for its ability to protect us from sources of harm. 
However, pain can outlive its usefulness when it becomes chronic and debilitating. Unfortunately, many of the current available remedies for chronic pain are imperfect and have a range of negative side effects, including the risk of developing drug dependence. This has been exemplified by the opioid crisis in the United States, in part caused by the addictive nature of opioids prescribed for pain. With the discovery of new drug targets such as TRPV1, there is a possibility for new analgesics to be developed that act in a way that is specific, less addictive, and interferes with the modulatory properties of the receptor without completely shutting it down, thereby preserving the useful protective function of the pain pathway. Although major strides have been made towards understanding how the body senses pain, it remains one of the most complicated issues in human medicine, and there is still much to learn about the mechanistic differences between chronic pain syndromes before taking a rational approach to drug development.